Hi, welcome to Coffee Stories. My name is Suyog. I'm a co-founder of Driftaway Coffee. This is Ian, our lead roaster and green coffee buyer, and Dave, our production roaster. We are tasting our uh, Coffee Month 8 coffees for the month of July and August 2019. And uh, specifically, we're tasting the Balance Profile Coffee. Uh, very exciting coffee from Colombia that we've been roasting for many, many, many months. Uh, called Colombia Inza Cauca. Uh, we just brewed a batch on this Kalita brewer uh, and let's have a taste. The orange comes across yeah, immediately. It's pretty fruit forward. Yeah, we're also nicely balanced. Wow. Very chocolatey, very rich. This is a coffee from the town of Inza in Cauca. Traditionally, um, coffee hasn't been exported from these regions because of, uh, you know, local sort of political trouble. Um, basically, the FARC guerrillas used to control a lot of the region, this a lot of the region in this area, and uh, because of that, coffee was not able to be exported, uh, or if it was exported, it was getting blended with other things. So. Um, when coffee farmers are growing coffee in these little sort of municipalities, um, which don't have a lot of access to, uh, I guess the the international um, like businesses that yeah the buying market exactly. Um, basically, a local buyer will have to come in and um, take the coffee that's being grown there because they don't really have an outlet for it. And someone will take the opportunity to, to come in and, and buy the coffee, probably at a pretty good price, and then collect it with other coffees from different regions into a really big lot and export it from there. You don't so, really know where it's coming from, right? As a buyer, as a, as a coffee drinker. Yeah, then the, you don't the, know what else it's mixed with either. Yeah. Right. So the the origin of the coffee, the 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 exact origin is obscured. You just kind of get this sort of generic flavor profile and sort of this generic information about the coffee. But in this case, we, you know, a lot of things have turned around with Asura Cafe, which is like an organization that was started in 2004 by people with, you know, a liberal entrepreneurial spirit to be able to collect uh, their coffees together, get them processed, keep all the traceability and information with them and share it with the buyers. Um, that was obviously, you know, about 15 years ago. Now there's 50 plus members in this organization and they're able to process and export the coffee much more, you know, uh, sort of strongly in a way and, and still keep all the traceability and continue to improve the standards and quality of it. So that's basically what you taste in a cup. We've actually been roasting this for a while now, right Dave? Yeah, we've been roasting this since December of 2018. And uh, we started on the 2018 crop and we've moved on to the 2019 crop. But we've been roasting it as an espresso, so it'll be interesting to uh, put it into our balanced profile and have a little bit of a different approach to the bean. Um, yeah, I'm excited to see how that differs from, from our espresso approach. It's always cool to be able to support the same lot, the same farmer, the same uh, exporter, importer on this side. Uh, for the same coffee because it just means more consistency uh, across the entire uh, chain and it just means that you're able to tweak things more easily, more readily. Um, so we're excited about this coffee uh, and bringing it to you guys.